Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And as usual, if it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Michelle Ashira. You can follow us across all our social media handles at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira. All right, in this particular session, we look into a conversation that uh, uh, focuses on ways you can monetize uh, on TikTok. So we all know that in a very short time, uh, TikTok has become a social network uh, that is used by millions of people worldwide. It has gone from being a, uh, a simple social entertainment network to a platform where you can earn money uh, thanks to content and community that is you and me. In studio I'm joined with uh, Leon Ondeki. Uh, he's a Kenyan American uh, TikTok influencer and a content creator based in Atlanta and he has over 1 million uh, followers on TikTok. Yeah. Welcome to uh, Y254. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. So for how long have you been in the country? Let's start from there. Um, we came into Kenya Friday. Okay. So we've been here for a good couple of days. A couple of days, yeah. alright. So, so far, what are you enjoying here? Um, I love the weather. So in Atlanta, which is where we're from, mm -hmm. it's been really cold. It's been like mm -hmm. around like 33 degrees Fahrenheit, so like 1 degree Celsius over here. Mm -hmm. So it's been super cold. So mm -hmm. I love the weather here. What about the food? Oh yeah, the food has been great. <laughs> Which is your delicacy right now? So, um, the Kenyan sausages are good for breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We've had some donuts over here. Mm -hmm. um, I love Fanta black currant. We don't have that in the U.S., so uh -huh. I was looking forward to getting that over here. All right. Yeah. So, Leon, karibu sana. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, when did your journey, when it comes to uh, being a content creator, uh, specifically in TikTok, uh, when did it all start? It started late 2019, around like September, October, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I created my first video, we were in class, and one of my classmates was like, hey Leon, we should create a TikTok. Um, we had just finished class, we had like 20, 30 minutes left, and um, we had nothing to do, so I was like, okay. So I downloaded the app, we created a video, and I posted it. I didn't think much of it until like a week or two later when I was in weight training. Mm -hmm. And um, we had finished class early there too. So I decided to record another TikTok. I made a little like gym skit, mm -hmm. um, posted it, didn't think much about it. And then like a week later, I woke up to like my phone like blowing up. Like there's so many notifications coming through. And I checked it, I was like, what's going on? Looked and saw a game. 50,000 followers on TikTok overnight. Wow. And throughout that weekend, I gained an additional 100,000. Mm -hmm. So by that Sunday evening, I had 150,000 followers on TikTok. All right. Yeah. So what kind of content do you create? So I create content that involves a lot of social interaction. I'm a college student right now, so I film a lot of my videos while I'm in school. So, um, what are you both doing? We think we can get to that. Oh, yeah. My major is computer science. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Going back to my question, uh, the kind of content that you create. Yeah, so yes. I create content that involves me interacting with my peers at school. Mm -hmm. Like one of my series right now is a sign video. It was inspired by these other two people um, in the US who do like a similar type video. Like I hold a sign right. and um, it's a, it has like a challenge. It's like do this mm -hmm. for this. So it's like, it could be like pour water on your head mm -hmm. for a TV. Which, Which you actually yeah. did, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, and people are actually doing it. Yeah, people are doing it for sure. Uh -huh. And another one of my um, popular series right now is Is Your Hair Tangled? Uh -huh. So I just get, I have a lot of combs, and it's a quick paced series where like I walk up to someone, I'm asking mm -hmm. them, is your hair tangled? They say yes or no, mm -hmm. and then we see if they're right or wrong. And then at the end of the video, they get to keep the comb because it's COVID season, so like everyone uh -huh. gets to keep the comb just to... Right. Yeah, I also got to see the video whereby I think you you were, you were holding a post a placard uh, saying that you're offering was it fifty dollars when they if the, you know they get you the, a professor or something. Yeah, so that's one of the sign videos. Uh -huh. So each one has like a different type of dare on it. Mm -hmm. It could be anywhere from like pouring the water in your head to get the TV or like bringing a professor getting fifty dollars, or like even like bringing me a sprite for like ten or twenty dollars. Like it's just a bunch of different types of dares for a reward. And the creator which I got that idea from, like I saw and inspired me, they're called Are You Kidding Me TV. Mm. Um, that idea was brilliant and like, 
I had to like take it up. Like it, it's great. All right. Yeah. Alone, as we keep this conversation going, uh, you could give out uh, guys the social media handles so they follow you and also check you out on TikTok as well. Oh yeah, my TikTok is Leon L E O N dot O N D. Um, yeah. All right, so before you even continue, maybe you can check out uh, one of your videos and so people can really uh, get to relate with what we're talking about. Yeah. Then we'll come back to a uh, formal conversation on this. And yes. Rachel, is your hair tangled? I'm going to say no. No? Let's see. It's not. Hey! <laughs> you get to keep the comb. Thank you. Sierra, <laughs> yeah. is your hair tangled? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck. You get to keep the comb. Thank you. JP, is your hair tangled? Of course not, man. I got that nice grade of hair, man. Let's you see. already know. You already know. <laughs> it's stuck in there. You get to keep the comb, though. You got to keep the comb? Yeah. Oh, say less. Say less. Sydney, is your hair tangled? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> it's not. Oh, yay. <laughs> you get to keep the comb. Thank you. Rachel, is your hair tangled? I'm going to say no. No? Let's see. It's not. Hey! <laughs> you get to keep the comb. Thank you. Yeah. Sierra, is your hair tangled? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. You get to keep the comb. Thank you. JP, is your hair tangled? Of course not, man. I got that nice grade of hair, man. Let's you see. already know. You already know. <laughs> it's stuck in there. You get to keep the comb. <laughs> so how many views does this one get? This one got around 400,000 views. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, remind people uh, where they can find you on TikTok uh, so that they can actually get to check out more of your videos. Okay, so my handle is Leon, L-E-O-N dot O-N-D on oh, TikTok. Why? Yeah. Oh, why? So um, you create so many uh, uh, videos on your, on your page, of course. I would like to find out uh, the level of consistency and how many videos you do in a day and how important is it for a content creator to be consistent? So um, recently I've become a lot more consistent over like the past three weeks. I've been uploading once a day. So that means I'm going out to record three or four times a week roughly, just to get enough content to post then. And consist consistency is so important. Early in the year I wasn't too consistent. I was posting like once every two weeks and I was really like stagnant, like I was not growing. And then over the past three weeks when I've been posting consistently, I went from 840,000 followers to 1.1 million followers mm. during the past three weeks mm. just by posting con con consistency. Consistently, yeah. Yeah, so consistency is super important. All right, and uh, of course, uh, when you get to see your videos, they're like good quality as well. How long does it take to just edit? Because uh, TikTok videos are quite very short, they're in yeah. seconds. So how long does it take to probably edit a video? So the Hair Tangled series that just played, yes. those ones take not too much time to mm -hmm. record and edit. I record those ones on my phone and I could edit them within like five to ten minutes. But the sign videos, those take a lot longer to re record and edit. We're actually using a professional camera for that okay. where we have a cameraman like hidden there's somewhere. There's a whole team. And like, like there's a whole team, yeah, <laughs> okay. for those. So recording those takes anywhere from like 20 minutes per video and then editing each one of those can take upwards of an hour and a half. Mm. Just because we are condensing like an eight to 10 minute clip into a minute. So that does take quite a bit of time. And oh. then after that, like after I'm done editing, um, my younger brother is my um, other editor. So okay. he goes back and he puts the words on the screen just to make it a lot easier for the viewer to like know what's being said. Oh, and also relate and understand as well. I yeah. believe so, yeah? Okay, let's look at uh, the side of just uh, monetization as well. Yeah. Before we get there, I would like to find out um, how do you keep up with the trends? Because I feel like uh, there's so many creatives out there, there are different content being uh, released each and every day. So how do you keep up with the trends and make sure that, uh, you know, you've got a niche for yourself as well in the, in the, for your target audience, that is? So that's the unique thing about my content. I don't have to keep up with trends. Okay. Because my content is completely detached from trends. So I could post like the same type of content, like the same three types of content, and they'll do well despite like whatever trends are going on, just because it's content that appeals to everyone like at all times. Like it's like me giving stuff or like 
quick paced videos which people could watch at any time of the year despite like the trends that are going on mm -hmm. at the time. Right. For someone yeah. who's watching uh, this conversation and they want to, uh, or maybe they're they're creatives number one or number two they're looking forward to get in the same space it could be on youtube or any other social uh handle what would be your uh, advice to them uh, in terms of just to be able to stand out in the market space so my advice would be to post consistently that's the most important part but also like focus on developing a niche and then once you find that niche give it like all like your effort like the better, like the better the content you're producing, the more people are likely to view it because you have to think of it through the eyes of like the consumer of your content. Okay. Like if you're watching content, do you want to watch mediocre content or do you want to watch like the best quality content you could watch? You know, so the higher the quality of your content, mm -hmm. the more likely people are going to watch it. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, I, I think that just takes it at home. Considering that yeah. you put yourself on the other side of your uh, of your audience, and you have to think, are they going to enjoy whatever I'm going to uh, give out to them? So let's look at how you monetize uh, from TikTok. What are a couple of ways uh, that people can monetize from TikTok, and, or how do you monetize from TikTok? Rather? So there's two ways which I monetize. Mm -hmm. I am part of the Creator Fund, which pays based off of like the views which you get plus your engagement, like how the viewers engage with the view, um, videos. Okay. So the creator fund doesn't pay an absurd amount of money. They, I mean, it, it's nice money to come in. It's like passive income from your posting. But the main um, source of revenue from TikTok or social media in general mm -hmm. is through ads. So working with companies, once you've gotten like your views up and like you have like, like you're doing well, mm -hmm. then you could work with a company and they will pay you to post an ad for their product or service on your account. Oh, I like collaborating with brands. Yeah. All right, so when you mentioned, you mentioned something about the Creator Fund. Uh, so is it by the number of views that you get? Um, TikTok hasn't really like published like the exact formula they use. All right. Like sometimes it makes no sense to me. Like I'd have like a 15 million view day and make less than a 14 or 13 million view day. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the exact formula they use, but I do know it's a combination of like your engagement with each video posted or like I guess that went out that day and then the views which you get so it's a combination of views and engagement I don't know like necessarily like how it works like wh how it breaks down but like those are the two primary factors well, and when it comes to gifts and everything when you go on live stream how does that work so lives is another way to make money on TikTok so how it works is you go live and then if your viewers, like the viewers on your live, like love your content or like they want to show appreciation, then they could send you tokens or like gifts during the live, which um, are saved as TikTok tokens, which could be converted into money later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's look at another thing uh, which I feel like it's very important for also someone who's watching this conversation on. They want to get into the creative space as well. Uh, the couple of challenges that you face, do you, has there been a space whereby, you know, uh, this creative blockage, because I've had that from YouTubers and everything, is it the same case and how do you um, deal with that? So um, one of the biggest problems I've had is managing like time because as a full-time student and like influencer mm -hmm. you just like you have to find a way to make it work so sometimes i i just like be so like i guess like stressed with like everything that i have to do that like i run out of like ideas mm -hmm. to post so yeah that creative blockage does come up and i found that the best solution for that at least for me is to just take some time off like even if it's taking like two weeks off um just focusing on myself during those two weeks so that whenever I do come back, I'm fresh, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm able to like, focus on what I'm doing then. Because mm -hmm. I've relieved m myself from this stress for like two weeks. Right. Yeah. So if Leon is not creating content on TikTok, what is he doing? And if he's not at school, uh, so what is Leon doing? Um, I love going to the gym. Right. Um, I spend a lot of time there. That's where I hang out with most of my friends. Most of my friends love going to the gym too. So I'm gonna either be at the gym or just hanging out with, this, um, with some friends, yeah. So that's it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's just what I do, like. Okay. Between school, should, TikTok, uh -huh. 
in the gym. Fitness. Like, yeah, All fitness. Right. I love okay. fitness, yeah. So how can guys reach out to you on uh, social media if they want to keep the conversation going? And when are you going back? Uh, or are you still, are you here to stay? Um, we're going back to America uh. um, early January. Mm -hmm. But if anyone wants to reach out to me, if you have any questions about social media or anything, my Instagram handle is on my TikTok profile, but if you're searching it through Instagram, it's Leon, L-E-O-N, underscore O, underscore, underscore. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Leon, for plenty of time to be with us, looking at ways uh, we can monetize uh, from TikTok. I, uh, I think now I'm encouraged. I can officially join TikTok. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're welcome, Leon. So that is uh, Leon Ndeke. Uh, he's a Kenyan-American TikTok influencer and content creator based in Atlanta. We're looking on ways we can monetize from uh, social media, which is TikTok. So guys, back at home, I hope you've learned a couple of one or two, th three things. And make sure you keep the conversation going. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. At Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. We'll be right back with so much right here on Why in the Morning.